Welcome. Hi, it's me and Danny Jones. But today, I'm going to relax. Yesterday, I failed it. Didn't nail it. So today I decided, well, let's take a step back, back in time, and sadly to commemorate the sinking of the Titanic and the loss of so many lives. Um, I decided to dress up for you guys tonight. I thought it would be nice. Something different. Especially after yesterday's fail. I am so sorry. I was not in the mood. So I'm listening some, to some nice, relaxing classical music. Having some nice vanilla chai tea. And I'm going to do my favorite thing. Which is decoupage. Because you can't screw up decoupage. Hi, Jack. How are you, sweetie? How are you doing? There's a bug in here. You hear like a moth or something. Anyway, so that's why I am dressed up like this. A little Edwardian taste today with some tea, some classical music, and I'm just gonna decoupage. And I'm just gonna enjoy it because I got stressed out yesterday because I didn't accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. So I'm gonna take it easy today. How's everyone doing out there? Glad to hear. Well, let me show you what I have done in the past. So these look like, these are little canvases that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this looks like, you know, a hand painted work of art because it has that canvas texture. But, oh, thank you, sweetie. But actually all it is, is a napkin, believe it or not. Yep, a simple little napkin. Why is this? What is what over here? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna actually have to use one of these napkins because something got what on my table. Something always happens with me. <laughs> Glad to hear you're doing great. I hate to use one of those napkins, but I can't let my table be wet. Sorry, napkin. Uh, not to worry, I got plenty more where that came from. I'm actually gonna remove these from that plastic bag because the bag is all wet. All right. And this was another, this is another example of a napkin that I used. And I just decoupaged it on a little canvas. And I thought this would be cute to add to my French country kitchen decor. Just like that. Oh, I love this music. Love this music. I hope you can hear it in the background. I'll probably get hit for something. It's classical music. I should be able to use classical music. Are you doing okay, Jackson? Jack, I'm sorry, I called you Jackson. Are you doing okay? Do I remind you of Mary Poppins today? <laughs> All right, so what we're going to use, I found this at the Dollar Tree. This was before <clears throat> the pandemic. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cute, but I don't like, I don't like those arrow things. I'm not into those arrow things like other people. And that's what they had it as, as an arrow. But I'm gonna make it into, hi Marlene, how are you? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm commemorating uh, the Titanic. 108 years today since the Titanic. So I thought I'd get into some kind of a Edwardian get up. And believe it or not, I got this. Look at this hat. Look at how gorgeous this hat is. Look at the bow in the back. I have to show you the bow. Look at that. Look at that. And I bought this at Goodwill. I think it cost me $3. It is a work of art with the, you know, with the ombre purple and lilac colors, just absolutely gorgeous. When I wear it out, I wear it really low over my eyes to look very posh, very posh. Today I'm wearing it like this, so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to decoupage today because yesterday was very stressful for me. Stressful. Don't know why I stressed myself out. This is supposed to be fun. So let me see if I can move this back a little bit and listen to the classical music and we're gonna relax today. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here on the table. Let's see if that's better. You can see my face. You can see a little bit of my hat. And I love this, this look. And of course I love it because it's green. So I'm going to recreate it and make it into like a little birdhouse. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut off this. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it up, if I'm gonna prop it up. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to use it, but I'm going to save this because you never know. 
And then I have my decoupage. And this one's matte. It's not the glossy kind, so it'll look like a painting, which I kind of like sometimes. Like this one was glossy. I don't know. They, they both look nice. But I also have behind here, I have a, a sparkly one. Oh, I love this music. This music is really good. All right, so I'm gonna take my napkin. I just wanna see, because what I did with this was I cut out exactly what I wanted to appear. Because here we can cover this, but and then I'm missing this little bird, so I'll cut that little bird out. So I'm going to make sure that this is centered here. There we go. So I'm just going to cut it out. And the great thing about decoupage is it doesn't have to be perfect. And you know me, I'm not about perfection. Can you see? Can't say what my see my money. Beautiful. I do red hatting. Oh, I love hats. I have a collection of hats. I'm gonna start wearing my hats. I have another hat that was pink. I'm gonna start wearing my hats. I'm gonna do like all hat week one week. You can join me. So see how this isn't perfect because we're going to add some paint to it and we're gonna make it look like I like to like rip it like that so it doesn't look perfect. There's dramatic music in the background. I like it though. I like it when it's ripped, it looks like more natural. And I'll age it and you'll see all the, the fun things we're gonna do to this. And this is two ply, so it's up to you if you wanna keep it. I kinda like it like with the two ply because it, I don't know, the colors are brighter when you transfer it. And sometimes it gets like very pale. I'm just ripping this. I'm trying not to rip the little body. I just don't want anything like too straight or perfectly cut. And you'll see, I'll add stuff. I'll add stuff around and stuff like that. Oh, we got this edge. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I am taking my time and I am enjoying this today. I think a lot of times I'm too rushed. That's why yesterday I feel like it was a massive fail because I was just rushing myself and there was no reason. No reason. I'm going to keep these little pieces because I can use them. So let's decoupage. And I love decoupaging because it's like you really can't flub it up. You just like pour and smear. It's basically it. And I'm using Mod Podge, and Mod Podge is part of the plaid family. That's right, because I'm a plaid ambassador. And you're going to hear me saying that all the time because all the beautiful paints that I use comes from plaid. They've been so incredibly wonderful. I have not, I have a storeroom of plaid products. You don't have to go shopping. They are wonderful. I have to do another like giveaway with you guys. So I'm just going to place that there. See? And even if it's got a crease, it's okay. And I kind of like it that it gets all wrinkly and stuff because it makes it feel like it's, you know, like really antique. Look at that. All right, that looks cool so far. Now, I want to add this little bird. Because this little bird deserves to be there, too. Why not? Poor little bird. Poor little bird. Love this color. You see, I have this color to, like, age it on the sides a little bit. And some brown. I should have added some black, but that's okay. So let's add this little bird. This one I'm cutting out just to be a little more precise because I don't want it to cover up too much of the postcard. I want it sitting on the postcard like I did in that other picture. 
Don't worry, those flowers will be used. So now I can lift this side. There we go. And we're going to put a little Mod Podge right on top. Pop him there. I'm going to put the little birdie here. Like he's looking up at the other birdie. And we just seal him in. There he is. See, you would never know that he wasn't part of the original picture. See? That's the magic of Mod Podge. Now let's like let's fix all this. Now here I can put the flowers. I can use the flowers here. Make sure I get rid of that trademark there. Rip the edges a little. See, this is so relaxing. I was so tense yesterday. I was tired. I've been tired. I have a lot of deadlines tonight, this week, I should say, not tonight. But I should be working on a grant tonight. But I need, I need to do this, but I need to do this in a restful and relaxing way. There we go. See, isn't it wonderful? You can just rip it. And then we're going to add the flowers right here, right there on the side, so nothing gets wasted. Like Victorians, I believe. I don't know if it was the Victorians or the Edwardians. But I believe it was the Victorians that started this decoupage decor. Hmm, I don't know if I like the flowers like that. Hold on. Because it didn't look like it came from anywhere. That maybe. There we go. There we go. Just rip it here. Yeah, I'm, I'm filming. I'm filming. It's okay. What's up? Do you have a fan anymore? A fan? A little fan? Yeah, I can just... Go in the garage? I know, because you broke the fan. Yeah. Go in the garage. Don't worry, it's not okay. Luke, the fan broke. It's not Luke's fault. He's just taller than we thought he was. But his hand is okay. He broke the fan, though. Don't beat on yourself. Failure is a part of That's right. It is part of the creative process. Check in the garage or take that one. You can take that one. Really? Yeah, take that one for now. Are you sure? Yeah. Or I'd rather just take the one in the garage. Okay, one. check the one in the garage, the little brown one yeah. that's in. The, okay, that, one. that one's perfect for you. Sorry, interruption there. So you can imagine in Florida not having a fan working in your room. <laughs> like he broke the whole, like the, the, the fan blade off. He just broke it off. Here, and then let's do this. I'm trying to see if there's any other like little flowers or anything. Are there any other flowers here? And these little flowers. Just as filler. Now I'm just like putting in filler. And remember, I'm going to touch this up on the edges. Oh, I love this music. I love this music. There you go. I love decoupaging like this where you can just add little pieces of stuff. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just add little pieces. Well, actually, I like this flower better. Pretty cute, don't you think? I like it. You like it so far? I like it so far. All right, now, I thought it would be cool. Now, you guys tell me what you think. 
I thought it would be cool to add some like 3D layering. Like I noticed this flower looks very similar to a little flower that I happen to have right here. So how cool would that be to have like some real like leaves and stuff just poking out? Did you find it? No. All right. I'm trying to take off this little plastic thing to see if it lays flat. This is very relaxing tonight, guys. Thank you. I needed this. Oh, where's my glue stick? Oh, goodness. Where's my glue stick? <laughs> oh, my glue stick fell out. Oh, there it is. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Let me lift this up a little bit. There we go. But can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can see what I'm doing. And there. Let's just leave it there. All right. So I'm just going to attach this little itty bitty flower that I had in my flower stash right here on top of that. See how perfect the little flower is there? Now it's 3D and it's the exact same flower. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. So the other thing I can add are some leaves or some little, I don't know, leaves or I don't want to overwhelm it with the 3D effects. Maybe one of these little, little greenish, bluish flowers. Here's a bluish flower. Like I want it to mesh into, I don't want it to stand out too, too much. That. Here we go, right on top of the letter. Oh, I like this. Oh, I'm so happy with how it's coming out. Look at that, how cute. Oh my gosh, this is too cute for words. I don't know if I want to put the leaves. Maybe another flower. I wish I had these little yellow flowers. I don't know the little yellow flowers. I like the little yellow flowers to stand out a little. Hmm. I think that's cute. Okay. You think we have enough flowers? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Very pretty. I need to dig into my craft stash. Yes, I love So we're celebrating, not celebrating, commemorating the Titanic. That's why I decided to go all Edwardian and do some decoupage, because that's what they used to do back then. And I even have some tea. Which is now cold, but that's okay. Yeah. It's cold now. It's like, yeah, I have iced tea or hot tea. You can't have like tempid, tepid. It's tepid. Ooh, look at these little leaves. These little leaves look very similar to these little leaves. So I might add a few little leaves just, just to have some added. Like if I had like these feathers, I'd put feathers on the damn birds too. <laughs> Oh, these leaves are perfect. There we go. Very nice touch. Now, I'm thinking of putting moss here on the bottom. What do you think? A little bit of moss? Yeah? Yay or nay? Moss? Oh, wait, you can't see it. Moss. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, people. I am so relaxed tonight. Making like a mini Victorian spring vignette. Like 3D. 
textures. I like I like things with texture. It just adds to, I don't know, the uniqueness of it, you know? How are you doing, Lights on Butler Court? Does anybody want to join me, by the way? Look, if you want to join me, click on here. Let's chat. Join me. Join me in my panel. You can come into my studio and... Gosh, I, I've forgotten how much I love classical music. I was raised with classical music. I'll tell you that. I used to play piano when I was, but the child. Yes, yes, you like the moss. Okay, good. It was by, but a little tyke I used to play classical music. On the piano. That's where my tiny little fingers come from. All right, that's cool. Now, I do want to add like another little flower somewhere. Maybe up here. Right there. That's so cute, it's so cute. I am dying, it's so adorable. Should I put moss on top as well? I don't know if I want to put moths all over. Because what I do want to do is this <clears throat> on the sides. It's like basically the same color as the. So we shall do that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. I always remember the anniversary of the Titanic. Right? It's the same day of my grandmother's birthday. Oh, wow. Birthday, Grandma? That's amazing. I love this color green. This is like my favorite color green. I love greens and blues and purples and pinks. I like like happy colors. But to some people, black is a happy color, so you can't say just happy colors, right? <clears throat> Might as well paint the sides, give it a more finished look. And don't worry, it's not gonna be just like that. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the beige. So you don't just see that, that one color. I have paint all over my fingers now, oh well. I should listen to classical music during the time that I work. <laughs> I'm so stressed out lately. Did anyone receive their, um, what is it called? Their money? Stimulus check? All right, now, because I don't like anything like that's just one color. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of this like beigey color just to make it aged, to make it look a little aged. Yes, I know I'm dipping this in there. Oh, well, double dipping. And use a little bit of a napkin and just rub it together. So it doesn't look so splotchy. There we go.
Poor Luke, he broke his fan. It's too big. I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm actually relaxing. Adorable, right? Not sure what my mom and dad did. Oh, cool. That's good. Good to know. I have to check again. I got my taxes in. That's good. I was just glad to see that. Do I put moss on the top? Moss on the top? Looks like a birdhouse. That's exactly what I was, I was trying to do. So should I put moss on the top or should I put like raffia? Or I don't know what I have here. I don't have raffia. That would have been cool too. What do you think? Moss? Kind of like want to age the moss. It's like, it's like too green. <laughs> Never done this. I'm gonna do something. I like this. Oh, okay. Painting the moss. Painting the moss because it's too green. Like too emeraldy green. So aging the moss. One of my favorite characters on TV. His name is Moss. He's in the It Crowd. Great British show. If you guys have Netflix. I like wry British humor. Okay. Oh, that fell off. <laughs> Not good. Hold on. Need more moss there. Ooh, clump. Clump of moss right there. I'm just blotching it with some of the beige so it's not as like deep green should i put some on top adorable looks like a birdhouse i think i'm good i think i'm good with this so far See how the green doesn't look as green now? It's blotched. Now the other question is, should I should I give it a little dazzle with some glitter? Should I? It's getting hot. Hi Angela, I didn't see you when you came in. What color is the paint? I'm sorry, okay, this one is called Spring Green. Spring Green. And then this one is called Beachcomber Beige. Apple barrel. Sorry. I think I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. Just a little, little teachy, teachy little bit. Ah! Don't want to get paint on this blouse. Even though I got it at Goodwill. But it's a cute blouse. Very frilly. All right, I'm going to add, I'm going to put that there. Cleaning my area up here. I'm going to add a touch of this sparkle bond podge. Sparkle, sparkle mod podge. Always glitter, yes. This is just a little tad of a touch of sparkle. Just teeny, weeny, 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 weeny. little touch. Oh, I was going to use the doily. Oh, it looks good without the doily. I might put something else on top. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I'm going to use moss or something else. So let's add a touch of glitter to our little bird friends here. Just a little bit of highlight right there. And it looks white, but this will dry clear. A little bit here just to highlight. Just to highlight a little, little touches here and there of the bird's feathers, like like a little bit of dew on them, you know? Can you see the, oops. And then it's like as if dew had fallen onto the leaves. We would put some on the, fat, on the 
and then flowers, just a little touch. Just a little bit of like, oh, look, there's a glitter. It's not like, you know, oh, tons of glitter. Just in moderation. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll bring it up close now in just a minute. I'll put a little on the stamp. She looks a little, little fantasy like. So let me show you. I don't know if you can see now with the little glitter. See, it's just a little touch. Not too much. I don't like it when it's got too much glitter on everything. But it's just it's just enough. And I like the fact that it's like it's raised, so it feels like it almost feels like this is oh great, look, I just screwed this up. No worry, no worry. Not to worry. Because we got more Mod Podge. What we have to do is Mod Podge this little piece on there and we're good. I just ripped off a little piece. Demented, please do more decoupage greetings from Homestead, Florida. Sweetie, I'm here in, in uh, South Kendall. I'm like near the Redlands, hon. You are really close to me, Demented. I love doing decoupage. You have no idea how much I love doing decoupage. Where did the, I had a little piece of paper. Where'd it go? Okay, I need to find another little piece of green. There you go. That is so funny. I had a little piece of paper. Where did it go? There we go. So I ripped off a little piece and then just decoupage a little more. Oh, I put some I put some glitter on it. No. There we go. There you have it. And we're done. It adds to the dimensionality. Yes. Thank you. So there you have it, people. I might put some more moss here on top. I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is. It looks very sweet. And I think this will look adorable in my kitchen, hanging in my kitchen somewhere. Going for the French kind of country look. I don't know. I might, or I might put rope. Oh, yes. Hold on. Hold the phone. I have rope here somewhere. Hold on. Now you can see my, my pajama pants, but I don't care. Oh, on this. Wait, I got two choices now. I got rope or vine. Sorry about my pants. Oh, look at this. We can add this. Ooh, look at that. Or rope. Rope, both, let's do both. I say let's do both. So I'm gonna cut this off right here. Let me see, cut that off right there. Burn, always burn your rope. Burn my fingers, decoupage, and shadow box. I love shadow boxes too. Did you see my miniature box? Ooh. Okay. Oh, that smells cool. Always burn the end of your rope so it doesn't fray all over the place. But be careful you don't burn the house down. Oh, I like that. Okay. Move over here, away from me. Oh, I also have sticks and twigs. Oh, gosh, I have so many ideas. No, let's go with the rope. I think the rope is good. Yeah, I like the rope. We're going with the rope. Okay. Twigs would have been cute, too. And I have twigs. But I'll go with the rope. <clears throat> I 
Even on both sides. Okay. This has been like such a wonderful craft to do with you guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I have had fun and it's already 36 minutes. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, I made miniature, like those miniature little boxes. I love that. It goes a little over, but that's okay. It's kind of rustic. And then I like these little pearly things. Yes, I'm doing the pearly things. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Just like that. Hold it in the middle. Oh, where are my pearls for me? And it covers like the, the seam between the wood and the rope. Perfect. Perfect. Looks like I planned this all along. Okay, my little pearls fell down. I'm going to find some here, rip them off, and I'll put them on there, just like that. See? Because I like things being even. This is why I like my nails nice and long, because I use them as tools. And we'll use this little doodad here. And we're done. I think we're done for the night, people. Oh, so cute! Look at that. That is perfect. I think... The, I think the rope and the little pearls just just finished it off perfectly. Thanks to you guys. Anyway, sorry I've taken so long. I was really enjoying it. You're on stream. Oh, I'm sorry, Jackson. I just saw you, but I'm I'm already finishing up. So, but thank you anyway. And let me. I don't know. Should I take off my glasses? Should I take off my hat? What should I take off? Let's do this because it's like I couldn't see myself. So there you have it, guys. I finished up. I didn't get frustrated and I didn't screw it up either. It's a win, win, win. And uh, so I want to thank you all for joining me. Jackson, next time tomorrow, I'll have you on. And uh, isn't it cute? It's so cute. It's just too adorable. It is too adorable. I wish I had more of these. And this was this started off as an arrow from the Dollar Tree. I wish I had gotten more of these because I could have done like a whole bunch of different little. Can you imagine a whole bunch of different birdhouses? Too cute. Anyway, good night, guys. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay crafty. And keep praying. All right, guys? God bless you all. And thank you again for watching. See you tomorrow night. Bye. Lord knows what will come up for tomorrow night. But this one was good. I enjoyed it. Bye.